Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is another game today, and I am by myself, but thank you for joining me. It has started a little late, but it's okay. We're going to cover this game, it's going to be UT Dallas versus Ryerson guys, so really quick before these guys get ready, I will cover as much as I can pre-game, but UT Dallas looking pretty good, they only, uh, they've been looking pretty fair. Ryerson has been taking some, some hurt as well. Especially their loss against UCF, but Dallas, um, their spring losses is Southern Illinois, Central Florida. Their wins are actually they're two and two in spring, and uh, coming up, they do play against Ryerson. Ryerson actually had the lo only loss in spring for Central Florida, um, so we actually saw that on stream. And now, we're gonna see UT Dallas and Ryerson on. Inferno. I'm just gonna double check, guys. These guys are in the game. All right. So it looks like they're just about ready. But until then, guys, UT Dallas versus Ryerson. Now Ryerson, they've got a different lineup. Is what I actually want to point out. They actually have Pistol playing. I actually know this guy in LAN. And next, of course, is the force to be reckoned with by himself. But we saw how individual skill with a mix of no organization. I mean, not no organization, like preparation against UCF. Uh, Ryerson fell 16-5, I believe, to um, UCF. But guys, we're getting into the game as these guys are both the ready up yeah, this, is, this should this should be a very interesting game coming up yeah they are doing nice oh my god okay well UT Dallas with knife on Inferno I just realized I don't have to hold a talk key I'm casting by myself But nonetheless, the game has started, and I can actually cast without having my hands on the keyboard. Oh man, solo casting. Defensive Ryerson is oh, that's not that's not nice info. So knife goes in favor of UT Dallas, and um, I can't remember if I have actually covered. UT Dallas, to be honest. I don't recognize any of these players. Alloy, Con Artist, 172, Tofu, Enfu Hip, or Enfo Hip, and Karma. But over on Ryerson, Pistol, ATC, I believe, is that Macer? Does he just have his name? Really weird? I'm pretty sure that's just Macer himself. No, guess not. But next, Maurice and Sonic. Let's see how this plays out. Con Art's already starting this off by swinging real wide and pushing out. He is actually getting punished for that. But a quick exchange. Soggy down to 8 HP. That's UT Dallas right now. They're set up. That was actually a pretty crazy play. Very aggressive for Dallas to do that. If that is how the style of this game is going, this should be a good cast. So four players of Ryerson Esports going to make their way towards the A-bomb site. In pit is going to be Karma, followed by Alloys. You'll find... Oh my god. Oh my... Sweet baby Buddha. Um, okay. A really crazy round for Alloy. Stopping two of those players coming up towards Porch, like... Those are two bullets, guys. For pistol to not just work out like that. That just sucks. But now Dallas SMG by fall by from Moss here down mid. Looks like Ryerson gonna opt to go towards Banana. All five players. They have a few smokes. Two smokes actually spot these four players, and that's actually gonna be Alloy followed by Karma. That flash is gonna send them back. They have let their 
presence know is what the key was there but Kofu could hear the stampede he's got back up completely try and hold this off flash and it's all like that flash is so strong but he only manages to do damage across the board I'm gonna find a kill con artist give the fun one kill on the second and the bombs can go down as well now info hit towards moto it's a retake situation the bomb has gotten down i'd say ryerson won this in my book but if they can win the round it would be huge that's just a clean face pistol on one kill Reese actually actually picks up another kill and this is just down to a 1v1 no why did it have to be that maurice had just the, the cz no bullets left and an easy defuse for Dallas. Kind of slop from Ryerson, but what do you do when you're stuck in sight? There's not exactly a gun. I don't think there was a gun available. So Maurice resorting to his knife will lose that. Take a knife to a gun fight. Dallas 2 0. Well. And uh, now Ryerson, they've got the second round bomb plant. It's still gonna be a standard buy into the fourth round. We got four and eights. And see the nade stack was bad. It's not gonna find anything at all. And sorry, I just had to check if I was actually not muted, because no one's gonna tell me that. Pistol all by himself with just the Glock. You actually managed to find a kill. Very interesting. But, um, let's check something here. Ah, uh, pistol. So, Op gonna be coming out here for next. We've seen what he can do. But, if he cannot actually find any space, Ryerson is actually stuck frozen. And let's see how these guys can pull this off. He gets across the board. All tops for Ryerson. Now they had a full of incendiary. Oh, soggy. There's a lot of damage. Find soggy. And essentially disappointing that man, but now the man advantage here for Ryerson. Sorry, for UT Dallas. The op is still in the hands of Next. has not fired a single shot. It is a glass cannon off. Such a risky buy. UT Dallas Info still has an MP9. Uh, well, interesting. If he lives with this, um, essential or get a kill with it, it will pay off. But ooh, next, letting the friends be known here. We go. Executing in alloy. Stuck towards oranges and Karma's actually swing here as they walk into the room. And Maurice caught with his nade out. The bomb goes down. The trade comes through, but this is not what you want to do when you're executing on the site. And Edfo able to pick up one. And I actually, okay, guys, remember, I've been sick for like the longest time. But, up they go. Oh my god, this retake clean as ever, actually. And UT Dallas will find 4 0 against Ryerson. I really hope Ryerson, like the last time we saw them, they, they, they found a couple of rounds against UCF. But UCF, like, they, they showed us a different level of preparation and organization and just like cool hand loop i talked about him i talked about him earlier today the door of the explorer is there a door up on ryerson a player who's getting information you know last time we saw a uh, successful school play t side i believe um i don't recall the school but they, they did a 1-3-1 one, one on t side sending players Entering and essentially lurking, finding fruit, and if they did, that would be the site they take. That was actually on Monday. 
Larson. Pistol's gone AK. Oh, Larson. We'll go down. This is looking okay. Larson just need to make their way through, get the bomb down. Oh my god, next. We even make it even better. The Tofu with the rifle. They haven't dealt with the pit player. He finds a free kill on some Maurice through the smoke. And pistol. The rifle. It's been denied, but Sagi gets up a rifle as well for himself. It's easy. This is good. Ryerson can make this happen. The Tofu. The pit player that they have not dealt with. Who's already found two kills for himself. Oh my goodness. Ryerson need to pull this off. Sagi's got a rifle. Tofu, he has an idea, he's just gonna spray away! No bullets! Taps the bomb? No way! Please tell me this guy just explodes. No way! Oh my freaking god. That is gonna hurt. Now, considering that Ryerson could have won that round just by the sheer trades that they were doing pretty well. Um, mind you, they had CZs and pistols from, and maybe one or two rifles that were picked up. One pick was picked up, but they felt that round in their grasp, but it was just taken up by Toby who found two, four kills. And I realized the money is actually blocking uh, Mr. Tofu's uh, stats, so just mind, mind me, I, there were some adjustments that were done for the stream. Tags up pistol down to 31 HP. And right now, stand still here for Ryerson's. The bomb's on a default. These guys are trying to find something here. Enfo might be first contact with the off. He's be blinded off. Trying to get away. 50 seconds ago to execute him. Oh, the lurk. Okay, I like this by Ryerson. They sent ATC to, to lurk and try and sell this. And they have pulled the rotate, but Enfo's actually watching from the moto side. All con artists forced to fight this off. He is going to be. A crossfire with Tofu. This is gonna find that kill. He's gonna find two kills for himself. His teammate close by. He gets a third. Oh my god, Tofu is the king of the site, but he should go down by now. The Glock's gonna do it. But Karma gonna find ETC the back. Soggy will go down. Oh my god. This is kind of like. I, like, you were trying to analyze this round. That site player stayed alive clearly for too long. Finding a 3k like that. Tofu's sing he's got two out of the four rounds, uh, two out of the six rounds that, the, that Dallas has had. They need to deal with this guy. I mean, just playing in sight like that and just kind of picking them off. But the previous time, he was in pit. And Ryerson dealt with the pit player. So they're... Ryerson's trying to catch up on the mistakes, but like, oh, next, he sees the kid, easy pick, Enfo goes down for free. Ryerson, they need to scrimmage some rounds here before they switch to the CT side. The boost towards Bork, it's gonna be Tofu. He's gonna be sitting on top of quad. Nice flash from Alloy actually pick up a free kill onto ETC. Now the bomb hasn't been spotted yet. These guys are actually just holding an aggressive peak to try and just equalize us out. And Dallas is doing a really good job, but oh my god, Alloy almost gets a third kill. Karma actually finds the refrag by trading out from Soggy. And Dallas, this is considering I have not seen the plane. To, to what I remember, Ryerson is suffering. They need to capitalize. They need this chemistry that Dallas is having these trades off or They just need to balls to the wall, hit a sight. Sometimes not even smoking in a spot. 
will help you in the sense that you don't give your position away. Look at that. This is gonna find a free kill from the back, but can they deal with karma? 20 seconds. They both actually Molotov new box. Oh no, 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 and he comes out free! Bomb gets denied. Now Maurice once again against a 1v1 against Tofu. What better player for Dallas here? The smoke. Oh no way. My god, this is depressing. Even as a Canadian, I believe in Ryerson, but like I know the issues that they, they run into just by as a commentator. But like What is going on? They do the right pause, it's 7 0. This is pause territory. They've got money in the bank. Next, not ah, doing too hard. Fall by Maurice as well. Carmo has expired. Op here for info. He's still not doing too hot either for Dallas. Mind you, the seven rounds. Mind you, guys, that this out of the seven rounds, there are five bomb plants here for Ryerson. So they're getting into the site. And oh, a little bit of a tickle here from next to Soggy. But um, these guys are getting into the site, but either post plant or whatever is happening during the plants, they just cannot hold on to the site. We saw 1v1, mind you. They got the bomb down. Once again, through the smoke, does an immense amount of damage to ATC. He's got 1 HP. Somebody could just cough really loud down banana and he might die. There's there's been so many kills through smokes. It's actually kind of annoying me. But everyone is either pushing through smoke or hiding behind it and getting punished for it. And that is not what you want to see. But Ofu once again will finally die for a trade-off. Now Ryrus is doing this right. They're getting the trades. Now, XQ being set up here. The smoke landing in towards Coffin. Piss is going to pick up a kill as well. This puts them in an advantage here. And Connor is all by himself rotating through Alloy. He's going to pick up a kill on the pistol. He knows the pistol is coming through CT as he did get that first kill. Oh, finally. Like I said, guys, the kills through smokes are so huge right now. This might be the first round for Ryerson as Con Artist in a 1v2. We're going to turn off the X-ray as actually ETC's got 1 HP. He's got full nades! What is this guy doing? Connors has full nades, guys. Surely Ryerson wins this round. Oh my goodness. My god. Okay. ATC gets that kill. Hops away like a bunny. And lives. With, uh... That 1 HP he started out with. So, 7-1 Ryerson will need to capitalize because if they lose this next round it's a full reset this could spiral into a 10-1 something awkward like that next thing he wants a hug he's not doing too hot maurice either Uh, sorry, I was coughing my lungs out, guys. But, interesting. Mind you, Dallas have, have won the uh, previous seven rounds. It's aggressive play. Pistol's gonna pull up two. Maurice is gonna stop in the back. They're getting a team kill. Soggy is gonna get punished by two UT Dallas players. And oh my god. Ryerson. Do the pause. Ryerson, oh my, Ryerson do the pause and get eco.
Um, like Dallas is, that's that's gotta be like a huge game changer right now for Dallas. Like they, if I'm Ryerson right now, putting themselves in an eco, they were on a buy, they were looking healthy. This is so demoralizing. This TK that happened as well. Maurice was, I think he did get a kill. That makes him, it was 3-7. Puts me at 2-8. These are mistakes you do not need. Early on in this game, as it is getting to the mid rounds. See a very nice play finding Alloy completely blinded off, who's so aggressive. And Soggy. And the smoke down Echo is actually gonna out, finds two kills. He's done his job. Now the site needs to hold off. Pistol Deagle, good night, Tofu. Pistol for his name and Soggy and Pistol now, they have to readjust and it's not going to work here as Roti already came through. They took quite some time to get through. Info. A 4k. So, like Ryerson, they can get the kills. They can do the trades, but what is happening? They're put into a double ego. Why is this knife damage happening? Maurice next doing all that knife damage actually. That's gotta be so tilting. I, I'm assuming Ryerson's not communicating properly. That's my assumption. But like these guys just need to I think they wasted both their, their timeouts actually. But I hate to see this. Ryerson need if they can find maybe three rounds here on the T side, it'll be doable. Maybe they're just completely a, a, a CT side team. On the other hand, like Dallas, they've been you know fighting back. Stacking towards halls, but Tofu and Con Artists actually Switching this off, and oh my god! Next, able to find one kill, but the traits. Info actually picks up one. Oh, he actually reaches the photo. The fight next will pick up the kill. He's only got 27 HP, didn't have any armor. And next, pull this off. No. And Karma Rotate will find that kill. And the defuse will come through. Wow, this is this is rough, guys. And Ryerson full up by. I okay. I said ten one. If why did I say that? I said ten one. If it's awkward, it was already made awkward enough when Ryerson got eco. When they paused, guys, they paused and got eco. Okay, pistol. All right. All right. The new addition to a Ryerson. Ah, pistol. I think Maurice needs to chill out as well. He some team damage is being done to him. He's doing it back. Everyone in Ryerson needs to take a breather. Oh, they do so much damage to Connor. This should be another round for Ryerson. There's no way. They do so much, it's a great start. Mind you, Maurice has 2 HP, but... Let's set up here towards Banana. Karma's actually gonna lose his life trying to hop back. Alloy all by himself, but Ryerson... They have no idea. They just... This could be the Crypt Knight to them, maybe. But it's working. 
see that rotate tofu is actually gonna make his way all the way towards b atc's left here to sell something but what that information tofu should make his way back there's not a single player oh my god headshot not even necessary soggy ryerson Honestly, this should be 10-5 half. The money situation for Dallas has been hurting because Ryerson is doing the trades right. They're getting the frags. But the post plants now are just like, it's kind of like their, their, their problem. What happens after the bomb gets planted? In this situation, they found three good picks. Bombs down, all five should live. And you see now, Tofu and Alloy forced to save their guns because the economy here, they're going to be able to buy... Next round and stack up. To Alloy should be able to drop here for Envo. And Tofu's gonna hold on to his gun. And... Ryerson will find their second round. Maurice not doing too hot. Next. And Soggy followed up as well. On the Dallas side though. Now Enfo was actually like something odd, like four and five or something like that. He was the lowest frags, but he he he's holding on top holding down top mid. And he actually finessed back going to Moto. Come on, Ryers. I'm a biased caster, guys. He's a Mind you, I know pistol. Poor guy. Poor man. Nice guy. One minute to go. For the XU, I'm just gonna do something real quick. So nasally, guys. Sorry. Next, with the op. Setting up a smoke here for, I believe. Uh, I don't actually don't know what this is. Mind you, I suck at this game, guys. Okay. Broken wall. Got it. Tofu. Disciplined as ever. And folks is going to swing on the arch. What? Dallas are responding his frags by just peeking. At the right time. Now next. The Kenya situation. Look at these guys. Four players pummeled together. Uh oh. I muted. Oh god. Oh no. Sorry guys. I hit the mute button. <sighs> Sorry. Oh god. I forgot that. I was blinded. But next finds two kills. And karma. Alloy will actually pick him off, so this is not looking good. What happened that round was basically Dallas. UT Dallas. Kiki. Starting off with Enfo, peeking out Archway, finding a nice kill. And then Tofu comes out Cubby, gets another kill. Then another kill happened towards Fort side. All three of them in quick succession. Aggressive gets punished for it. That flash speaks wonders. That flash is coming. You best believe someone's peeking. Good thing Soggy was holding that. Rotate to come through. Now, look at the situation. Enfo and Con Artist. Enfo's actually gonna hold the moto side. He's got the top. This is the first shot. Should be able to smoke him off. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
if I was info, I'd be like WTF right now. We saw it from Empo's point of view, but I want to see what Nex was doing. He's just straight up running out with the scope on. And he hits this ridiculous shot on Enfo. And what Enfo saw was this guy just flying. Like, just flying out. Enfo had an op, by the way. Which Connors has picked up. What? <laughs> okay. I'll look at that chicken later. Oh, look at that. That is awkward. Love this game. So op gets picked up. The money situation is not healthy here. UT Dallas. And this last round should go into Ryerson's hands because the reset. Will this be the first time Ryerson finds a consecutive round in this match? A double op. Very, very risky here as two members of the UT Dallas have pistols, guys. Aggressive peak from Alloy. I won't find much. On accidental. Oh my god. Soggy, he's been getting some nice kills. Ryerson. Pistol opening up as well, finding some room. He will go down to a Deagle. Maurice on a refrag onto Tofu. Now Con Artist. Followed by Alloy. The two op plays that are left. I don't think Con Artist uh, likes holding halls. That's the second time he's not really done much but take damage towards the hall side. Alloy. Next is still alive, guys, so this should be easy rounding. No room to save drop, but Alloy got to pick up one kill. And he's gonna find him. The graveyard. So 11 4 half. Not too bad, I guess. 10 5 would obviously be better. Ryerson will scrounge up the last. Other, other three rounds out of four than the last four rounds. But look at this. Look at how ridiculous this is. I need you guys to understand this. One, two, three, four, five. Probably six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven bomb plants. Eleven bomb plants for Ryerson. Like, these guys can be impeccable if they can work on their post plants. Or someone like how they work their entries on uh, the T side. Like I, I feel like Ryers, this should be like a 9-6 UT Dallas. I feel like there, there are some close rounds that Ryers can close out, but now they're on the CT side and Dallas is on the T side. Bombs on the back of Karn Ryers, so he's actually trying to make his way towards Archway. This should be somewhat of a round the world, maybe. Soggy, in for a surprise, got the CZ, he should be able to stop this. Next and Soggy actually go down. Now the bomb's been spotted all by himself as ATC. Bomb actually swapping towards the east side. Maurice finds one. Can he find the second? No, he won't. ATC now to 1v3. Already getting challenged by Enfo. Oh, don't play it. Oh. And both pistols now in favor of Dallas. This is not the position you want to be on the Ryerson side. That pistol is so damn important. Ryerson will do a tactical pause as they do believe get two pauses per side. And I'm going to rest my voice.
Oh man. I lost this rush B. Will UT Dallas be a man of their word? Nope, that is definitely not happening. Look at how fast to get top mid control. Already three guys are spewing into into moto right now. They have full sight control, followed by the closest CTs are in halls. That's what's actually gonna go down. Dallas, like this eco is so so rough. I like I like what Ryerson did to his apps. I like it. I've seen it work so many times too. This is so scary. I'm actually slightly surprised. Based by the information I knew from both teams, which was UT Dallas, uh, it's kind of on a rickety ride in spring. And Ryerson now, you know, the previous game was a 60 0. On paper, this should be <laughs> slightly different, but. Ryerson, he was, oh my god, this is actually, oh my god, USP guys, you hate to see it, I freaking hate to see it, oh my god, Ryerson just eco Dallas with maybe four USPs, I think, I thought that was, this, I thought this was going to be uh, 14-4. Ryers to keep it alive. It's both sides. Of, it's a very important round for Ryers to capitalize on this round. Nate's doing so much damage. Alloy. Ryers not going to spread to his feet. An aggressive peek here. Oh, it's soggy. ETC trying to find something. Want that player last second. The amount of pressure on Ryerson right now is immense. Like these these guys cannot die without getting a frag. Everyone needs to pitch in. Now, this site should be closed now. Because you've got next. This is actually in sight. We're gonna stick on this man as he's gonna. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Like I said, guys, this site's close. Next is your baby. We'll go down to ATC. So, nice B hole. Literally, you hold the sight. Honestly, I don't even know why these just don't just leave. Uh... Actually, I can understand why Nexus is play B. He's an offer. The availability to play A um, and the work behind to actually hold A properly is a lot harder than holding B. But Glocks in the dream here for Dallas. If the Glocks prevail. Um, I turn off the tree right away. Five players making their way towards the apartments. Pistol. The spray is a little late. Here we go. Family of five in the apartment side. So smart. So smart pistol. They've already taken 94 damage. They regress actually to the apartment. Oh my god. No way in the pounce.
waiting for somebody on Mars to be impatient. Maurice, 20 bullets. Is that enough to stop uh, some of these players who want to come out? He's gonna slide out, finds one kill. The pistol on sight, getting challenged. He's actually gonna pick up two kills. Make that three as Maurice is gonna clean up one as well. Now, op potentially on the board here. Connors sitting at 6250. Could buy it. He's thinking about it and he will not go for it. Might just be a fast play then. Arson. Oh my god, a miraculous need. Doing so much damage to UT Dallas. I think it hit all five players. And look at this. Look at next. This is the door that I talked about. Let's see if you can pull it off. Oh my god, Alloy is so aware. You stop next, and now it's up to the rest of Ryerson to hold on to this. Bomb on the back of Tofu. They actually hear this player towards the arc side. Flashes come through. And on site is Soggy with an MP9 and this four man hold. They spot off the rotate, that's gonna be pissed. She dropped Incinderate and Fox she makes a kill towards Moto. Soggy with the MP9. One and two. Drops the bomb as well. A pistol now. Followed by ATC. A 2v3 situation as they knew they need to retake the A site. Bomb has been planted. Oh, there's a pinch here for Karma. Oh my Karma will find that kill. Now pistol. One v two. We're gonna have to turn off the X-ray. He can't give this up. He's got a kit. He needs to win this. Info with that angle. Now we'll make it fourteen and seven. Timeout comes out. The last tactical pause remaining for Ryerson. On your screen, pistol leading the way to Ryerson right behind him is next, as expected. Everyone else on uh, UT Dallas is kind of unified. Now, Connor is mind you, 11 and, five, uh, 11 and 15. It's definitely a different game, though. Ryerson trying to claw their way back. A very scary first half. Fourth eight. Not gonna happen. Back of Karma, which they will actually drop towards Banana, and maybe. But the one thing, <clears throat> guys, I don't know if anyone's like pay attention to this, but on Inferno, if you get Banana Control and Top Mid Control as a terrorist, the round's yours. Like you go back and forth. Excuse me. Right time, right place. And that's what Ryerson needs right now. No aggressive play. 
Oh, Maurice. Let's be careful. This is gonna give the XQ, guys. <clears throat> no utility for ATC, but a flash by. But no utility for Soggy, sorry. What is going on? 15 seconds, and now the execute. Essentially. Flash comes down. Hello, says ATC. Soggy's gonna pick up one kill. Picks up a second as well. Holding down towards Dark. And the ball needs to go down, and all by himself is Tofu. And the dynamic duo towards B side. ATC and Soggy shut it down. Dallas now. Not looking too hot with their money. That's going to call for two P250s in blocks. These guys are actually going to push, push up towards the arch side. X is going to miss his first shot in a big pickle. He's going to hold this off with the op. He's got a team to go find. This is another shot. Oh my god, the double peak though. You find a nice 2k. But Alloy by itself. Unnecessary. I thought that was a headshot. <clears throat> And still, the money territory for Dallas is still not too hot. It's going to be upgraded pistol buy, as they do understand they get the eco. So it should be a pretty decent round here for Ryers. Double op, full utility. Oh, Dallas, they actually, are they doing the same thing? No, they're going to the other side. The pistol should actually hear this. He's just oh, that's the bomb that goes down right away, but he gets trade off. Player in sight. Maurice needs to chime in. He gets Cook's one alive. But he needs to find another kill. You see, oh no! Alloy picks up a rifle. The ball's gonna go down. It's equalized out. And Dallas have picked up a rifle. That is the huge point to understand here. No, this is this is not good. They're bunched up in one area. I don't like this by Ryerson. They're gonna get pummel out. They know it's a play towards it. Oh, my favorite player down is down to Enfo Hip. The 1v3. He's got 12 bullets. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 That has got to be the noose. Oh, pistol. These guys on Ryer Snake. Oh my god. Why did they send three out moto? Is my question. Enfo just danced around. Oh my god. Regardless. Now. Eyes on OT for Ryerson. UT Dallas have Enfo Hip has done the impossible. He got match point out. Guys, that is insane. Probably one of the biggest plays on CSL. That wasn't eco for UT Dallas, guys. It should have been 14-10. And then this round would have been so important. <sighs> like, what do you even say to the Ryers players? What do you like? What is going through their heads right now? Like, they just got to move on from that round. UT Dallas probably empowered to close this out now. As they actually will send the bomb towards the A site. Smokes will rain on in. 
in terms of first contact and he has found a kill on pistol and both the A players are gonna go down and now a retake situation. Soggy far as ever. This is not good. There's still four flashes available. Karma's gonna pick up another kill. A double op is still in play, but Ryerson, you do not need this double op with Dallas holding the site. Tofu. Oh my god. Ugh. Um I really like does it really have to end like that? Like I didn't even get the players to watch down, but Enfohip was the player to watch and possibly Alloy. And Alloy did shine as well for, for Dallas, but... Guys, I cannot stress... Like, I'm gonna pull up the match stats here, but like... That round was so freaking huge. For Ryerson to win. It was an upgraded pistol by followed by a few players having armor on UT Dallas. And... Okay, let me actually point this out. I you hate to see it actually. Enfohip, Tofu, and Karma combined those players on UT Dallas. Eight clutches. Not a single clutch one for Ryerson. Eight clutches, guys. That's across three players. Enfo probably having the hugest clutch of his life. Both teams now four and two. In uh the spring season, but the territory to it's like playoffs guys are around the corner. And I love to see plays like that from UT Dallas, but come on, I'm obviously slightly biased here for Ryerson. I'm a Canadian. Uh, I know some of the players on Ry on Ryerson, but oh my god, that was such a a heartbreaker. Info hip. And for hop hopped around through the the smoke, and it's just like next was diffusing. Why not next not diffuse? Why not next just go kill the guy? You know what I mean? That is such an unfortunate game here for Ryerson. I I could feel the that is just so demoralized. But guys. Uh, going up to this matchup, uh, my MVP for the Dallas side has got to be Enfo him. Now, Alloy's done some pretty big work on the CT side. Actually, Tofu's. Well, all, okay, all three of those guys. Um, MVP is for UT Dallas. But on the Ryerson side, um, it's got to be Pistol for me. He was essentially finding most of the, the trades and some of the entries as well on the T side, regardless of them winning only four rounds. Um, Pistol is a new addition to Ryerson, where you just kind of wonder what happened to Doofus, what happened to the roster of Ryerson. Maybe, maybe this was a better pick, or but why did this happen on the T side? Why did they only find four rounds? Why not six? Why not seven? And um, Next didn't actually have a great start as well. And it's probably one of those things that he is a hard relier on the op. It's like one of those things. I remember UCF, they shut down the op against uh, Ryerson. That was next. This is like one of those things you have to think about as as, uh, as a team. Like, do you need that op? And we actually talked about this uh, in the first match today. Like, Liquid, they, they dropped JDM. They have NAF, and this is a rifle across the board, and... It's like one of those things. Now, next 
himself is an impeccable player, but like he still has to rely on his teammates. There was a round where he died for free, you know, pushing up all, getting a lot of information, mind you. But everyone else on Rise needs to step up. Maurice, you know, we saw a TK that happened on Pistol. Maurice killing Pistol. That's what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. And the eco happened on T side. That like diffusing this this match is. These Ryerson's gonna watch this demo maybe two, maybe twice. They're gonna be like, okay, what happened in this round? Like, is Inferno our weakness? No. I think I told you guys, they got 11 bomb plants on, on the T side. Obviously, Ryerson's doing something right if they're getting 11 bomb plants out of the 15 rounds, regardless of pistol or not. It's like, but Dallas, on the other hand, these guys were kind of like holding hard angles just peeking them right after and we saw that a, a few rounds like that as well three players on ut dallas holding the a site found three kills right away it's like okay this is awkward but ryerson still get those bomb plants and i hope they finesse out their their problems and kind of just like triggered out ut dallas still they're both in the four actually four two territory for a spring now mind you your your spring stats uh matters most towards playoffs so as these matches play out guys like playoffs is just like three weeks away something like that it's it, it's coming and um this is very scary here for for both schools like, UT Dallas, they find that when they were six five they weren't doing too hot they didn't do, do too hot for for fall but taking a school down like ryerson i don't know who else is in their conference but ut dallas had to play NCSU Wolfpack, which I can recall um, is a weak school. No offense to them. Two forfeit wins, a 316 loss, 616 loss to UCF Knights. Actually, NCSU Wolfpack. Don Ross, I remember that name. Okay, guys, going back to the point, um, Ryerson. I cannot stress how crazy Enzo's uh, play was. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. As uh, I will put up the schedule. Be right here. But yeah, so West Virginia versus UT Austin, followed by a announcement for the game on next Monday on the 26th will be on your schedule, guys. So if you like what you saw, once again, hit that follow button, guys. And uh, feel free to tweet at me as this was a solo cast. I tried my best to cover as much as possible and show the love to both teams. And uh, guys, we're on Twitch, the utmost greatest streaming platform who's given us the platform to grow uh, to what we are today and um now we'll touch on this as well division one guys you see all these schools you see some schools we can forfeit losses forfeit wins now if you feel like uh uh if you feel like um sorry it's got a message from prior to people but regardless uh if you feel like uh you have the five players who you know you guys are just playing mm together or you maybe play esca together you guys want to represent your school go into division two it's completely free next year i can only imagine that it's gonna be even bigger um across all our titles c uh, star league actually has 900 registered schools in our titles and you know esports is only growing at an exponential rate and for collegiate esports, it's growing in its own little hub as well. So, guys, if you have like players who who want to play it out, they got friends who all go to the same school. Uh, definitely check us out. But guys, I'm actually end the stream tonight. If you like what you saw, feel free to tweet at me personally. And uh, until then, I will see you guys Monday.
So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed. Ooh.